Good morning guys. So today I'm going to start my keto meal prep. First, I haven't made this for several years, probably the first time that we visited America after moving to Israel. Uh, this is the cream cheese pancakes but or waffles. I'm going to make waffles. So I have right now some cream cheese and I have my eggs here. I have eight eggs in each with a stack of cream cheese and I'm going to use this sugar-free classic caramel syrup and a teaspoon of baking powder for each and I've got my stevia here I don't know how much to put in I'm gonna guess well yesterday I went and got this because I had to return one of my sugar bowls because I had a crack in it and we got um, curbside pickup so didn't notice that it had a crack in it until later and I'd had it for like a month so like I better take it back before it's past due they didn't have any more so I was able to get this instead it's a glass divided dish uh, again for my meal prep and I have more dishes up here for meal prep so I have six and two for salads so I think we're good to go I'm going to try to freeze these waffles and just microwave them because we have a nice freezer now down here <laughs> so um, trying to get it together I have this mixer that my mama gave me let's see if I can do this all right eggs it's a lot of eggs these brown eggs that are organic and cage-free they were very brittle and I remember that from Israel all the eggs are very brittle like they'll break in your hand just very very fragile and I don't know if that has to do with the health of the chicken and what they're eating but I don't like that too much I know that we would have extremely hard shells when we were um, when we had chickens and we had them for eggs Okay, the mixer is not doing the job that I want it to do. It's got some dots in it where it's not all mixed up. So I'm going to use my blender. I've got a Ninja my mom gave to me when we moved here. Um, I bought her a Blendtec many years ago. And then I used it to make almond flour or coconut flour. One of those. And it burnt up. So I, I called Blendtec and they sent her out a new bowl like immediately no questions asked so that was very good uh, customer service it's a very expensive blender so I believe this is just as good I don't use a blender very often but this cord oh, okay it's a retractable cord I was like this cords only six inches long okay so I'm gonna take this cord out and transfer my mix into the blender I don't like using things in the blender because then you have to scrape it out and I like to get every little th single piece of it and some of it stays in the blender and it just it bothers me a little bit so okay Hadara is washing the griddle and I'm going to put it in this blender shaker and pour it out onto the griddle and see if it works I put a cup of very finely ground uh, almond flour in there instead of just having the eggy batter because I remembered I don't really like thin eggy crepes unless I'm putting like a lot of stuff on them because I don't like eggy stuff. When I was a kid my mom and I used to make um, like egg custards and stuff and I really it's like bread pudding too. I really didn't like it but I just like cooking with her so that was fun but egg custard and bread bread pudding not my thing at all. <laughs> Because it is very eggy. So we made um, the cloud bread, which is, uh, it tastes, the texture is like bread. The taste is not. The taste has some work to go on it. And I'm fine with that type of uh, eggy type of bread because it was more like a bread texture instead of an eggy taste. So right here is my rendered baking grease. And... It's literally gold for that reason because it is gold very good for keto diet and I have my jug here it's heated up these will probably have to be small I don't know if this is 
too thin or not but there's no gluten in this so it's not going to bind together very well so I'm thinking I might need to go smaller than this but we'll see how the first batch ends up and if so I'm gonna make an assembly line of this all right this stuck to my pan every single one of them pretty much stuck so this is not the recipe for me I still have this much left so I'm gonna try about four or five different times I made them smaller so I'm going to see if cooking them less time will help it but here are the pancakes they're very thin they look a little eggy and shiny mm. they're okay it's not the texture of a pancake. Um, it's more like a, a thick omelet, but it's not eggy. I don't know. It's okay. Okay, cooking them for less time and making them smaller is a lot better. These are able to slide around on the pan. I have just flipped them. They're not sticking. They didn't stick on the other side either, so this is better. I wish that it was more fluffy. I did use baking powder, but they're not getting fluffy. This batter is super runny, so I did have an accident. <laughs> I made one that was huge. It was oops. Um, so I'm going to taste this one now. This one looks pretty good. It's eggy. I don't like it. I would like it if it had like cream cheese on top of it. So maybe I should just make some crepes and put some cream cheese on it and maybe some berries. It's like not my go-to food. I would eat it though, but not my go-to food. So the whole point of meal prep is to have food that you have ready that you look forward to eating so you can stay on your diet, right? So if I don't enjoy eating that, it's not going to be something that I go to first or look forward to eating that day. So I think a good thing for this might be to eat it with food. Like maybe if I had some bacon in between it and had two and just made like a bacon sandwich with it, I think that would be really good. But on this, on its own, this is uh, something that's not good for me and not something that I look forward to eating. So I will continue my search for a good pancake recipe for me on keto. Good morning. Good morning. Having some good time? Yep. That's uh, what mommy made. We, <laughs> they like to have it with cottage for freshness. And, and it's got some maple syrup on it too. For yumminess. Yeah. A little odd, but definitely They're together. Works. <laughs> with eggs. Yeah? You think they go together? No. Eggs and maple syrup? No. Yeah. The stuff that you're eating now. Is it good? Mm-hmm. So it does go together. Really? If you're eating it and you're enjoying it, then yes, it does. Are you having a good time there too? Mm. Good. She's very picky about her food, aren't you? I like to pick and rip and scratch. Okay. And I feel hot. That kind of picky. Hadara's gonna get the paint for me. I have one hey. more spot to paint. Hey! Oh, don't spill my coffee. <laughs> Hadar put some collagen in my coffee this morning. So, hey, Abigail. She found this Ziploc bag, so she put her book in. And this is the magic I pen. To, I was trying to find something to put in it. So yeah. I put two things in it. Good job. I'll get the So one. she's been doing the magic pen. And this pen doesn't have any color in it. The color is magic on the paper. So it's a perfect picture every time. You got it? You want to show everybody how this works before mommy goes to paint? Mm -hmm. All right, show everybody how it works. You want to paint the rest of this picture? All right, you want to show everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? It's a magic pen. See how this doesn't have any color on it? But it colors it magic. Here you go. Go ahead and paint your pictures. I will show everybody how it works. 
You should probably go get your unicorn hat. Unicorn for hat. this. <laughs> yeah, look at all the pictures. It's pretty. I saw I saw some puzzles around here. Oh yeah, they have really neat puzzles too. They're um, sticker puzzles. So you have thirty stickers to put in order, and they're all numbered, so it makes a picture. Can we do it? Cool, huh? Right now? Yeah. You help me, okay? Okay. All right. I got this left. I got Charmed going on so I can listen to it. I'm going to paint this, and this is all that's left. All right. I'm trying again. So this time, I left out the almond meal, and it's just eggs and cream cheese with some baking powder and stevia. Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah. I want to. Now I don't know how this is gonna taste, but it looks alright. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Can I and I already took one out. It was basically impossible to get it out. I had to roll it. This looks pretty good though. I mean it's fluffy. Mommy, can I please wash my hands with this? No, that is not hand wash. That is oil cook and spray. I think I like this better. It's not crunchy. Maybe if I left it in there longer. I'm cooking another one and I'm tr gonna try to leave it in longer. But this is a little eggy. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's very spongy. I wanna eat one too. Okay. It's very good. I would like to eat this every day. The other one with almond meal and making it into pancakes I didn't like so much. So maybe I'll try it again with almond meal and make it into a waffle. There is quite a lot of steam coming off of it, but this is how it looks. It's very, and don't fill it up too much. Only fill it up to the rim because it will overflow. It is like, I'm burning myself taking these out and they don't stick together. So they are individual, like for individual things. I don't know how to get it to be like a waffle, but look how fluffy that is. It's nice. Hey guys. I built a new castle. This is how it looks. And we use most of the locks. And now we're going to go to bed after Mommy takes my watch off. And you want to see it? Here. And you also have a Pokemon watch. Yeah. I don't know where it is. It's on your desk. Oh. In your bedroom. Really? Uh-huh. Minecraft is actually my favorite game in the whole world, if you're loud on creative. Creative mode is when you bought Minecraft with real money. You had to get it, then buy it. And right now I'm trying survival. I already have creative and adventure, but I'm doing survival. Daddy told me to do survival, so I did it. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Say goodnight. Good night. <laughs> no, I'll do it for you. Can I'll hold the camera. Night. Say it again. Night. Good night. Good night. And we'll see you tomorrow with a new good day. Right, Daddy? Mm, yes. And we actually do have fun because we don't yeah. like stores. Um, <laughs> I don't like them. Okay. I don't like going in. You never even go in a car. You know why? Because you poop and throw up. You That's why you don't go, Kitty. What broken leg? She's a Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs>